First, we're making our own meatballs. Then we're making a crazy delicious meatball sub. All right, kids, here's how this goes down. Meat balls implies meat of some description. And uh, absolutely, you could use just ground beef. A better option would be ground beef and ground pork. But the best option, in my opinion, is ground beef, ground pork, and ground veal. And look, I know people have an issue with veal, so feel free to leave it out if you want less taste. But if you're okay with it, I think that little triumvirate of meats is the way to go. I have a half pound of each into the bowl. Then we add the rest of our ingredients. We start with about a half a cup of ricotta cheese, which I love, about a third of a cup of Parmesan, about a half a cup of breadcrumbs, kosher salt and pepper, garlic powder, red pepper flakes, minced parsley, and one egg. And we mix. And of course we're gonna mix with our hands because we can. The egg, the cheese, both the ricotta and the Parmesan are gonna help make these really moist and super delicious. And when it's mixed, we form them into meatballs. So then just grab some and roll it into a bowl. Look, at this point, you can make them any size you like. For our purposes today, I like that, that fits in there. These are almost two ounces, if you want a measurement. We put it down. I'm using a sill pat, which is like a permanent piece of parchment. It's nonstick all the time. We'll put a link to it. But you could use uh, parchment paper. You just put them straight on the thing itself. Just roll them into beautiful little balls, and on they go. If you find your hands are getting a little sticky, then just a touch of water will help you uh, roll nicer. And there we go. Numero 12. So we wash our hands, which we don't always show you, but it always happens. Jeremy. He didn't wash his effing hands. Do you see everything? Do you know everything that goes on here, Jeremy? Must you? And by the way, this isn't a restaurant. I'm not feeding you this food. So if you have an issue, then just go turn me off. It's that simple. Click off. I have a restaurant. Wash my hands there. These guys, we could put them in a pan with oil Spin them around till they're brown, but we're going 425 in the oven for about 15 minutes until they're done and they'll be perfect. Now, I, I promise sauce, now it's sauce time. And we start with onions cooking in a little oil in a pot. So this is, this is a one small onion or half of a large yellow onion. And after about three, four minutes when it's softened nicely, We'll add a few cloves of garlic. Just jam that in. Give it a little stir. And just wait about 30, 45 seconds until it starts to get fragrant. Next up might be the most important ingredient in this uh, tomato sauce that we're making. Whole peeled tomatoes. They have uh, liquid in here, so we'll get the liquid in. Most of it comes out. And then here's what I like to do. The tomatoes look like this. I like to break them up as I put them in. Whole peel tomato in your hand. Best way to do it is use your hands, folks, like this. Squeeze, ah, shite. Just be careful because it does spray. Put your hand low enough. Hopefully it'll be protected from this backsplash. These are really good tomatoes, really good. And the favorite are the ones that come from the San Marzano area in Italy. The rest of that. And we add a few more things. We continue with a couple tablespoons of tomato paste. In. Balsamic vinegar. Two tablespoons. Tablespoon of sugar. Red pepper flakes. A little oregano. And of course, our best friend, kosher salt and pepper, and we mix. So you want to get it back to a little simmer, 
and then keep it there for about uh, 20, 30 minutes. And I assure you that the value in taking the time is absolutely worth it because the flavors just concentrate. They get so much better. So the sauce is uh, simmering. If this was a baseball game, you would refer to that tomato sauce as a utility player. It can go in almost anything, anything. You could take the meatballs out now, put them in the sauce and let them just get even more luxurious and then put that on uh, pasta, spaghetti, whatever you want. You could use that as a dipping sauce for all kinds of things. You could poach a piece of fish in that. I like to make a big batch of it and then freeze it in those deli containers. But now, our meatballs are done and oh so pretty. And as soon as the uh, sauce is done, and again, it's worth it to wait the few minutes to let it come together and concentrate and get even better. When the sauce is done, these will become part of a ridiculously great meatball sub. Now it's time. I'm using a little sourdough baguette. You could use a, a sub roll, a hoagie roll, a, a, a piece of toast, for goodness sakes. You could use anything you want. I just happen to like sourdough. I love the size, and so you cut it. Just like that. Once it's open, now we put on the important part. Of course, we start with the meatballs. Snug that guy back a bit, and I think we'll get five on here quite nicely. <laughs> now it's time for our sauce. Oh boy. Like you know it's gonna be messy. Let's just get a little on the front of these guys. And now our cheese, and I'm using two types first is Monterey Jack, and before you get all upset, you want to use mozzarella, use mozzarella. But Monterey Jack is one of my faves. I always have a ton of it. That's what was in my fridge, leave me alone. And for a little extra sharpness, some Parmesan. You know what happens now, Max? On our baking sheet, carefully, carefully. Nice, here we go. And in. It's on broil. Only thing to do now is wait and watch. And whenever you use the broil function of your oven, do not leave. Terrible things could happen. It'd be a shame to burn that whole thing up because you have to go pee or check an email in the other room or talk to a neighbor, wouldn't it? So stay right where you are. You could actually go to the computer here, go to makeamericacookagain.com and and get some. I prefer the long sleeve and I like black. It's more slimming. And by the way, I'm now down six pounds from almost seven, I think, from uh, like three weeks ago. Honestly, I'm lighting a damn thing, but I'm feeling better. <laughs> and <laughs> check it out. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, look at you. Lovely. Wouldn't it be a cooking guy thing without a little pop of color? A little Italian parsley for a little Italian meatballs and our Italian tomato sauce. That's a meatball sub turned into a five person slider sub. Whatever it is, it's going to be amazing. All right, so after all this crispy gorgeousness has happened, oh shit, how's this going to even work? I'm just going to try this. There you go. Look at it. That's it. In a nutshell, everybody squeeze in. Oh, this meatball is freaking perfect. Wait, I better take a bite, then I'll know. I was right. This meatball is freaking perfect. Moist, tender. Delicious, flavorful from everything that went into it. 
and the sauce. <clears throat> the sauce is everything. It's everything. This is everything. You are everything. We're all everything. Honestly, I feel us building to a group hug, but it might be awkward. So remember this. Make America cook again. Don't make the same thing all the time. Like us. Subscribe to us. Leave a comment if uh, you want us to make something special for you. As I'm standing here looking down on top of, just look straight down. The cheesiness, the crispy. Look, all these things make something fantastic. The crispiness of the bread makes this better. The melty cheese better. The sauce, the whole thing. And don't laugh about my use of parsley because a little pop of color is fantastic. It really is. Thanks for being here. Go make this now or, or something.